Yellow here, this is Delusional Level here. I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, I have another guard break video. I know I'm beating on a dead horse, but I just had to make this video specifically because on the last last video that I made on a guard break guide, an individual Yoshi player told me that you can do this combo route and they cannot escape it regardless of what they use, even if they do a quick back roll. This is the combo route. Now from my testing, this seems to work against mostly the males and some of the females in the game. So it's not exactly a 100% unbeatable type of setup route. For example, characters like Reyna and Xiaoyu, they're far more likelier to do a quick back roll and actually end up escaping the setup. But this is not what the video is about. The video is about is that I had another piece of information that was told by me. I know this is not new information by some of the more experienced Yoshimitsu players, but from what I have heard, that if you perform this guard break setup, right, against the females, now the one that I figured out that does work against the females, you can actually launch them if you get the guard break. Now the combo route that works is this one. Okay, there it didn't work, but you saw in the bottom left corner, the frame advantage was plus 15. So I can actually hit the Nina out of the guard break with a launching down forward 2, or even an up forward 3. So let me try it again. You see? It lands! And... I kid you not, I did the test. I did the test and it works on all the females. All the females in the game, it works. I'm, I sound like an incel <laughs> when I'm saying female. It works on all the ladies in the game, all of them. Funny enough, funny enough, this also works on Leroy. So is Leroy a lady? <laughs> is Leroy a lady? Or yeah, I, I know I'm just pl I'm playing around though, but I'm guessing it has to do with something with the hitbox that somehow the combo route works, the setup works, and you can actually launch him. Because again, bottom left corner, you saw that with the guard break, I was plus 15 at advantage. I'm able to land a down forward two or an up forward three to launch the opponent. But that's not all. This also works against Lee. Okay, I was too slow, but it works against him. You see? It works against Lee as well. And the next guy that it works against with... This is too funny because I don't know if the reason why it works, again, I hit my mic, my fault, that is because the character has a weird hitbox and maybe that's the reason why it's working. But it's, it works against all of the females and includes Leroy, <laughs> Lee, and Law. I checked all the male characters as well to see if it works against them in this particular combo route. Mind you, this only works if you go between this particular, particular type of combo route. It doesn't work with any other combo route that I at least checked. So what this means is, is that Yoshimitsu is in a state where I consider him to be not super strong, not super weak, but he is very inconsistent. So a lot of the times when you're playing Yoshimitsu in a ranked match or a regular match, whatever, you'll have moments in time where you're trying to perform a particular type of setup or a particular type of mix up or either just to punish the opponent that it will either whiff or the opponent has the advantage all, all of a sudden or you uh, end up whiffing, let's say with Geho San, which is your CD1 you'll just whiff weirdly even though you think that the blade actually hit because of the sword trace but nope, end up whiffing but this might end up being 
the strongest setup in the game the strongest setup in the game there is no way to beat this besides the few characters i just mentioned reyna and xiaoyu they can quickly back roll away to beat this move except with this combo route that i just used which is the 3-1 combo route they can't quick back roll but they can still uh use a recovery kick to essentially beat you attempting to use the fully charged one plus two so with that in mind if you want to abuse this go ahead but i'm going to remind you guys that whatever bandai has cooked up for yoshimitsu in the next patch i am very certain that they're going to nerf this setup they're going to nerf it i already wrote it down in one of the comments i pinned it in the last guard break video not the one the, that i made this morning and i pinned it on the comment that there's a likelihood that bandai is going to nerf this setup now if they nerf it i think it's fine because for one it is a very very strong setup a type of counteractive means to beat this setup there's a, there should always be a weakness to a particular setup every setup should have at least one weakness one weakness so they're going to nerf it i know for sure they're gonna nerf it i just hope that then when they nerf it they don't nerf it to the ground to the point that there is no way to try to use this setup in some combo routes like it should have weaknesses just that it shouldn't have zero weaknesses against certain characters at least the majority of the characters at, the, at this point so i know i'm rambling i'm sorry that i rambled i yapped too much so if you guys like the video please give it a like subscribe you want to see more of my shit and stay tuned for more